I've got you in my sights. Okay, guys, hello and welcome to my backyard, which is in a sleepy suburban area of the UK. Yes, that's all I'm going to tell you at the moment. Now, I don't know what your situation is, or I don't know whether you live in a city, whether you live in a town, whether you live in the countryside in a nice little rustic village, or whether you live in the United States, which might be a little bit different, and you're watching to find out how uh, we deal with things. Okay, so uh, yeah, what you're gonna have to do in this video is, is be flexible about the way I present what I do for strategies, and then you can adapt them if you need to for yourself, okay? But I have a certain uh, situation which I need to explain to you because the SHTF doesn't just come in one big thing. It happens all the time. Yeah, some people call it bad luck or run a bad luck, but it's not. It's opportunities that open up, and if you can recognize them, you adapt to the situations as they occur. Yes, right? Okay, so it doesn't mean that you're hunkering down and you've got all your supplies. Sometimes it, you get something that comes out uh, from the side that you didn't expect, that you haven't been um, paying attention to, okay? So anyway, first of all, this bag, which I did mention in another video, um, yeah, okay, that is going to be used, but I need to stitch it up again because the, the zip's gone. And I've got a Miltec uh, bag that I got off eBay. Now, my boy uses this one, well, not this specific one, but this type for school, and he is a devil for wrecking rucksacks. So, uh, yeah, I've seen how many were replaced in the last four years. The Miltec seems to have survived the most, but we'll review that later on. I don't want to get into it now because this one is a uh, different situation. Yeah. So, I don't know if you've seen on uh, the news about the Colonial Pipeline, how it was hacked and they had to shut it down, which meant fuel supplies to a certain part of the United States. They didn't get any, therefore they had a fuel shortage, which of course has an ongoing effect of uh, supplies maybe running short, uh, Hawley has not been able to move vehicles and people not been able to get to work. That is a big issue, yes, and it can happen anywhere at any time because obviously everything's connected and interconnected to the internet. Um, they can get in there and they can cause problems, yeah. So with my specific issue that I've got, because yes, uh, my boy's account got hacked as well, which was uh, a trouble for us because in his Xbox, which he hadn't touched for maybe six months, somebody got in there, changed the password, and then watched to see what was happening. So they kept that. Um, they then made a small transaction, realized that the, the card that was linked to it, or my PayPal account that was linked to it, uh, actually worked. So at the right time, they went out and bought four, video games four not three but four video games uh, for 83 pounds something each okay and this was uh, i think it was fifa or whatever it was but i'll put a link on here you can see this yeah this is what they uh, they purchased with it and of course it'll be one guy who's distributing it to his, his friends yes and uh, i didn't notice this until i looked at my uh, app on my mobile and saw that these uh, transactions had taken place it could have been more it worked out at 320 pounds odd at the end of the day uh, lost out of my account okay so uh, the knee-jerk reaction is to shut everything down okay because i thought that my paypal and my email had been hacked that was linked to that as well okay so change the passwords everything um stopped my card um changed the password on my paypal got in contact with them and they looked into it they investigated that and luckily they said yes these were unauthorized by microsoft so the money came back and went into my bank account that's a, that's a happy ending at the end of the day but not quite because i cancelled the card i asked for another card the card didn't arrive so we're on two weeks uh, waiting for a card nothing i've been down the bank and they have now got another card sent to me luckily they've been really good about it and they said yeah well if you need cash you can have cash yes so i have cash i have a wad of cash in here which has got to last me another week and i've survived now um on cash as little as possible and this has been an opportunity to see what would happen if the banks stop working yeah it's just what you do 
Been there before in, the, in uh, my younger years when I didn't have much cash, yeah. Anyway, while I've got my wallet out, what I want to show you is a little trick here. There's loads of receipts in there. Always keep your receipts anyway, yeah. But there's a money hidden in between all of these receipts which you can't see, yeah. It just looks like I've got a watch of cash, not much, uh, a watch of uh, paper, should I say, not cash. Doesn't look like I've got cash, yeah. And I also carry condoms in there for two different reasons. <laughs> and guess why? Yeah. So anyway, I'll go up to a shop and I'll pay for something, but you never know when somebody's looking over your shoulder and they're looking to see what you've got in your wallet. So possibly they could mug you. Yeah, but it's happened to me before and I'm very wary of it. So yes, I usually look behind me. If somebody's there, I'll be very coy about it, but there's always that time. So I have the paper in there. It just looks like I'm skint at the end of the day. A few coins, you know what I mean? This is why we have cards now. We can pay with things and it's good, but when you don't have the card, suddenly you have to, uh, to think uh, diametrically, don't you? And you have to think in a different way. So yeah, I do have enough fuel for work and back for the week and I'm happy with that. And if I need to, I can top that up. I wanna not spend the cash just in case I have to wait yet another week. You never know, somebody might nick the card on the way here from the post office, mightn't they? Yes, it happens, yeah. So I'm prepared for that. So it's rolling up the sleeves time and thinking, right, what can I do? Well, I have the reconnaissance vehicle, which is there, the bicycle, yeah. And uh, I use that um, basically after work to go to the supermarket and back. Most people, what they do is they sit in a car and they'll drive and they have a routine, don't they? They Backwards and forwards to work, backwards and forwards to the supermarket. And they may go to other places like town or whatever but they don't really engage with their environment, yes? So they're in the cocoon, okay? Well, they've got the blinkers on because there is a lot more going on on the outside. Now, if you have a reconnaissance vehicle in peaceful times, as it were, what you do with this is you use it as transport A uh, to get fit, B to look around and C to find the shortest way that you can to get from one place to another, which i.e. if you're going out to a supermarket, you put a rucksack on, you nip down there, you get some bits and come back. So you're actually getting a little bit fit, but you're also um, acclimatizing yourself because you're slowing down. You can check out a lot more things that are happening around you, which it happens to be maybe resources alleyways and uh, cul-de-sacs and things like that so if you ever had to bolt somewhere you know that you can bolt down an alleyway you can get from one road to another and then you're off whether you're on foot or whether you happen to be on a bicycle yeah or you have to dump your car because there's been a serious incident and you and uh, you get attacked for instance something like that yes there's all those variabilities that you can put into this but you need to know your area very very well now i'm sure when you were younger you had a bicycle didn't you motorbike maybe and you were off and you were exploring everywhere if you didn't you had a sad childhood i can tell you that but you need to get back on your bike if you haven't done for a while or if you're the type of guy who's got a bike and they just go straight down the road and get as fast as they can and get fit slow down get a mountain bike and then start to explore all the different areas and all the different parameters that you can see of different routes that you can get through and the reason for this is is just as i've said yes you get to know your environment as as well as possible now i've lived in certain towns for like 10 years and not known got on my bike when i've had the opportunity and learned a lot more so this town that i'm in now i've been here what year and a half and it wasn't until covid and i had all that extra time that i could uh, spend the time looking and that is exactly what i did but i wasn't just going to the shop and back again i was also going the other way looking for producers of things like eggs people's homegrown eggs and honey yes as well as potatoes and vegetables yeah so this is where you're not coming off the grid but what you're doing is not relying solely on the supply chain yeah if that breaks down they get hacked and the lorries don't move they don't get the deliveries what happens yeah people will panic by then the shops will be empty yes I don't know if you've noticed now that some of the shops they seem to to not get the deliveries on time or they get the deliveries and they're not quite uh, what you want for instance i noticed that coconut milk um, is very sporadic it's not constant supply so there are issues going on somewhere there are shortages in certain areas especially in the automotive industry because of covid and because of the Suez canal um, blockage as well um, the supply chain has slowed down for parts we've had problems with the uh, uh, truck ecus for instance not being able to get them because they haven't got, had the microchips yeah 
So it's it's a reality. It, the shit hits the fan all the time, bit by bit by bit, and you will have your own personal issues to have to deal with, yeah? So with my car here, you can see how much fuel I've got. That is how much I've got to get to work and back, and that is it. That's all I can use it for until I know that my uh, card issue has been dealt with, and I'm happy with that. Plus, it's all the other tied ends of the uh, of the internet yes and making sure that there are no accounts there that that you've forgotten about this is a, a good tip for you is just make sure think that you had an account that's had a bank uh, card linked to it and you've forgotten about it there's a possibility it could get hacked like my boy's xbox account yeah because the money goes out yeah you get it recovered but it's an inconvenience and like you see with me i now have to think in a different way and i always look at it as an opportunity to do things differently this is this is what it's about we are um genetically programmed if you like hereditary programs it's stuff our forefathers had to go through we'll always find a different way to do things we'll always find a different way to to get around certain situations problem solvers that's exactly what men are and of course we will want to know our environment very very well because that is our hunting ground so Think about it. Get yourself a reconnaissance vehicle if you haven't got one. Get fit. You've got to get fit. Get off your ass out of that car, yeah? <clears throat> and only use it for when you specifically need to. And, and get out and look more, okay? I know some of you are already doing this, aren't you? And uh, I know some of you are survivalists. Now, um, if you look in my garden, you'll uh, see some dandelions, yeah? If you, you know what they are and uh, a lot of people don't because they just cut them down but they are actually very nutritious and they're very healthy dandelion and burdock drink there was a reason for that yeah dandelion and burdock yeah so we've got dandelions here i'm gonna go out and find some burdock later on just as a bit of a foraging thing um it's good for your health very good for your health yeah but in the meantime guys um yeah next thing i've got to do next thing i've got to do is to get this bicycle because it um it creaks because the bearings are dry on it so we will do some maintenance on that and of course i will be doing car maintenance don't worry it's not just about prepper stuff it's actually vehicle maintenance but of course i'm getting you in the mood here because you are watching this because of the the prepper mentality okay if you're not interested in this this is not the channel for you because this is about um if the sht sht f hits the fan yeah you know what i'm saying it's you got to know so i'm sharing my knowledge with you um, the stuff that I know and the stuff that I go through. I don't have bad luck. I just have opportunities that open out for me. And of course, because I'm a little bit more in contact with my UG man inside here, it is guiding me sometimes to do the right thing. Yeah, I trust myself. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So anyway, until the next video, I shall see you. All right, take it easy. Get on your bike. <laughs>